Hi, this is Kim from Emerging Creatively Tutorials, and this is ECT TV episode 15. Today is all about bracelets. I am going to teach you how to make bangle bracelets that kind of utilize some fabric or really you can use anything. You're going to need some wire, some beads, your tools, and if you want some just scraps of fabric. I love bracelets. If you are on my website at all lately, you know that I love bracelets. It's spring here where I am. I love the warm weather. I love spring. I love summer. And the best part about this time of year for jewelry makers is you now have a full arm to decorate with your artware. So the tutorial I'm going to show you today is for bangle bracelets. And the great thing about them is you can just stack them up. You can wear as many bracelets as you want, and you can intermingle them with other bracelets. So you might want to go back to prior episodes of ECT TV, because I taught you how to make a couple of different kinds of bracelets, a few actually. And you can really just wear them all together, stack them up, have a whole stack up your arm, well, up your wrist anyway, and just show your creativity and your artwork on your wrist all warm season long. All right, so let's get started. So this is what you will need to make a bangle bracelet. Um, this is a fabric covered wire bangle bracelet and you're going to be able to customize it to your size, which I love because I actually have a relatively big wrist, but my hand is actually more the problem, like, I don't know, it's pretty wide and it's hard for me to get bangle bracelets over it, so I can make my own and have some really cool bracelets. So what you'll need is some 18 gauge wire or, you know, if you have 20 gauge wire, I always seem to have a lot of 20 gauge wire around. 20 gauge wire will also work in a pinch, but something a little um, thicker like 18 or even 16 gauge would be better. It'll make it more sturdy. And then some, you know, 22 or 24 gauge wire, just something, you know, small and easy to work with. Um, and both these wires are half hard, so they, you know, bend real easy, and that's generally what I always work with. And then you're going to need some fabric, um, and really f for each bracelet, um, you just need about 22 inches of fabric and um, about three quarters of an inch wide. So just, you know, a thin little strip but that's relatively long. And actually, it doesn't even need to be that long because you can just keep adding fabric to it if you want. Um, so, and you can use any fabric you want, anything you have around. Um, I happen to have a big collection of fabric because I also sew. But if you don't, um, you can find fabric, um, if you go to the fabric store, they have little swatches that they usually have left over at the end of their fabric or people have returned and they have those relatively cheap. Or if you have some clothes that you're planning on getting rid of and or clothes that you love that you don't fit in anymore or has a hole in it and you know you have to get rid of it, you might want to take that apart, you know, just kind of cut that up and make your bracelet, or an old t-shirt would be great, or, you know, a thrift store, anything like that, that there's some ideas where you can get some, some fabric. You will need a pair of chain nose pliers, a pair of round nose pliers, and of course some wire cutters, and then you need 
pineapple. <laughs> That's in case you get hungry while you're making your bracelet. No, I'm just kidding. This, um, you'll need some sort of can to, you know, form your bracelet. If you happen to have a bracelet mandrel, you do not need a can of fruit. Um, or if you have a can of beans, any kind of can really. Um, it's just, you know, to form the bracelets. I'm using this can of pineapple chunks because, um, and I, you know, there's no real perspective in this video, but this is a bit wider than most cans. Like if you had a, a can of, you know, black beans or something. Um, and usually I do use just a regular size can, but I happen to have this can of pineapples, so I thought I'd try it because my wrist is actually, um, my wrist isn't actually the problem. My hand is pretty wide. So on a bangle bracelet, you have to slide it over your hand and kind of get it over this big, large area of your hand. And I always have problems finding regular bangle bracelets to fit me right. So this is why um, I can make my own jewelry and make my own bangle bracelets. And, you know, I've always just kind of made do making them with a regular size can, but since I have this, I'm going to try it. If you do not have an obnoxiously big hand like I do, or wide, I guess, hand, then you could probably just use whatever can you might have around, you know, like black beans or maybe a soup can. All right, so let's get started. And before we get started, I just wanted to kind of show you um, the great thing about this particular bracelet is that you can really customize it in a lot of different ways. So I'm just going to kind of show you how to make um, just a regular bangle bracelet with fabric. And so, you know, you can have all kinds of different fabric, that sort of thing. Um, you can customize this more by adding some bead dangles. Or you can actually just make a beaded bangle and you basically use the exact same steps I'm going to show you, but you add beads instead of fabric. So that's an option. And actually this bracelet here has beads and fabric, so as I was wrapping the fabric around, I just added beads in as I went along. So you have all kinds of different options, really. And it's, you know, only limited by your imagination. The sky is the limit. So your first step is to get your thicker wire. So if you're using 18 gauge or 20 gauge wire, and remember, that the smaller the number, the larger the gauge. So 18 gauge wire is actually thicker than 20 gauge or 22 gauge wire. Um, just a little tip for the newbies out there. So we're going to get your 18 or 20 gauge wire. I'm using 18 gauge. I'm just going to refer this to this as the 18 gauge wire. But like I said, you can kind of use what you might have around. And we're going to take our hands and kind of loosely measure around the largest part of your hand, which for me and probably for most people is kind of like right here. And you need to measure around the largest part of your hand because, you know, you have to be able to get the bracelet on. And then just leave a couple inches at the end. Now see it's not really a circle and that's okay. And I'm going to just go ahead and cut off the extra. Alright, so now is when your can comes in handy. And I'm just going to go ahead and form a circle around the can. Now your can may not be exactly the right size, 
and it probably won't be, and it's okay. We're just forming a circle. Um, as you see, like, when I go around the can here, it creates a circle, but it doesn't stay the small, the smaller size of the can. It kind of bounces back, and you can even push it out a little as need be. So now I'm going to grab my round nose pliers and form a loop on one end of this wire. And first I'm going to do a flesh cut. And then if you've watched my videos before, you know how to do a loop, but I'll show you again. So you just hold um, the wire in your round nose pliers um, so that it is at the top of the pliers, but it's not poking through. So I can run my finger across. And I had a little tip for uh, making a mark on your pliers where you make your loop so that you can keep track. Mine's really faint and I don't think you can even see it in the video, but I have this, a, you know, a line up here for making wire wrap loops and this is more for making smaller loops. So you're just going to hold that and then this with your left hand or your non-dominant hand you're going to kind of push down and wrap the wire around um, your plier as you use your dominant hand to twist away from you. You twist as far as you can go and then you let go and readjust your wrist and then make sure that um, this wire is so lined up with the line and then you just end that it's tight against the pliers and then you just go ahead and complete the loop. So you have a loop. And to be honest with you, I just kind of messed this loop up because I actually, I made it this way and it actually needs to be twisted this way, but this is wire. So I'm just going to grab my chain nose pliers and go ahead and twist it. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to kind of straighten the wire. So the loop is more centered on top. Now, if I was going to be making a beaded bangle, at this point is when I would start sliding the beads right onto the wire here, but I'm not. So I'm going to go ahead and just take my chain nose pliers and make a bend here. And that is where how we're going to close the bracelet. I'm not going to close it quite yet, though, because I'm going to actually add the fabric first. So, but you can kind of put that in there and make sure the shape and everything is okay. And you can, you know, fix up the shape as you go along. It might become out of shape as you wrap the fabric onto the wire. Now I'm going to cut a strip of fabric. I have this kind of crazy zebra print here. And um, this only needs to be about three quarters of an inch long. So not very long, not very, I mean wide, not very wide. Um, you'll need like 22 or so inches long. That might vary a little bit depending on how um, uh, big your bracelet is. And to be honest, I'm just going to kind of do a rip. And this end was a little bit weird, so I'm just going to cut it off to be honest. 
so fabric strip. Alright, so now I'm going to cut off a piece of my thinner wire. So this is, I'm using 24 gauge, but 22 gauge would be fine too. And I'm going to cut off about a foot. Now we're going to use this wire to attach the fabric to the bracelet. So I'm just going to sort of kind of fold the fabric so it's a little bit smaller and then put it at one end of the wire which I'm starting on the end with the loop because this seems a little bit easier. Just kind of hold it against there. And then I'm going to take the thinner wire you have and just start wrapping it around the wire and the fabric to hold the wire on. Um, so I'm just kind of wrapping around a couple of times and making sure to catch the end of the fabric. And now I'm going to hold one end of the wire and pull it tight with, on the other end with my chain nose pliers. I'm kind of going to do both sides that way. And then just kind of make sure that it's secure. And it's pulling it a little bit. It's okay. This is okay. I just want to make sure that the fabric doesn't slide off. Um, the wire is holding the fabric on. This could slide around a little bit. It's fabric. It's slippery. Um, and then I'm just going to continue just wrapping around. And, you know, you can use as much or as little wire at the end as you like and make this as neat or sloppy as you want to. You know, you probably want to just do like real straight, nice, neat wraps, but it's not necessary. Alright, now I'm just going to actually go ahead and kind of catch the end of the wire with the longer end. And I feel like that is good. I'm going to cut off the extra. So you probably only need about six inches. Really. I always like to cut off more than I need though. And then I'm going to trim off the other side. And then you just take your chain nose pliers and make sure there's nothing poking out. So. Alright. And this has actually gotten pretty secure here. Now, just start wrapping the fabric around the wire. And just continue to do that um, around the entire bracelet. You can do this, again, as loosely or tightly as you want. Um, you might want it to be more tight, make a nicer, neater appearance. Um, kind of works better that way, but you might want it to be looser for a more, you know, rustic type of look.
the same exact wire oops, technique on the sands too. So now um, you just want to double check, you know, make sure that the shape is okay. And you're going to poke this little part you bent up through the loop you made. And just take your chain nose pliers and pull that little piece over and kind of close that up. And really, that's it. <laughs> now you can try on your bracelet and have a good time. All right, so I just wanted to tell you, show you a couple of ways that I personalize my bracelets. So this one has a bunch of bead dangles, and all I did was use some 7 millimeter jump rings and attach the bead dangles with them. And they really sort of stay in place because the fabric is pretty thick, so um, I didn't really anchor them in any way, but they really just stay where I put them. So that is one option. And I showed you this option before. Um, it has beads in the fabric. So basically, as you are wrapping the fabric around the wire, you would just slide a bead on wherever you uh, would want it, and then just keep wrapping. And um, bigger beads kind of show up a little bit better. This is kind of hard to see because I'm using clear beads in this bracelet mostly. And then, like I mentioned, um, a beaded bangle, which um, you would just simply add the beads to and then close. And then, of course, you could add bead dangles in addition to the beads <laughs> as you go along. So, you could have that. And so, what really looks cool is if you make a whole bunch kind of in a similar color set or you could these are black and white but you could definitely be more colorful and wear them all at one time I would also kind of add in some stretch bracelets or like you know a, just a, a strand bracelet with some stringing However you want to do it. That's like the beauty of this. Just keep adding bracelets till you feel like you have expressed your creativity and then you can go on your way. So thank you so much for watching ECT TV episode 15 and remember to come over to my blog where you can get this tutorial and pictures and if you sign up for my newsletter I send out a PDF of the tutorial every single week so it's easy to download or you can print it and take it to your work table very easily. I also want to invite you while you're over there to join Bracelet Boot Camp. Now we've already started and we're on lesson two but if you sign up you can get lesson one and two and the future lessons. It's all free all you have to do is sign up and there's a password protected private page where video lessons are and you're going to learn how to make five different bracelets in just three weeks. So you can really get ready for summer weather, this warm, glorious time where you can really show off your creativity on your wrist. I will see you next week.